It started because I was speaking to the principal of one of my uh, son's schools and she was talking about the need for more mental health resources in the school system and I thought that maybe uh, engaging an informative book could, could help fill that gap. It's about a teenage boy uh, in high school who's going through having lots of very confusing and frightening feelings and thoughts and it's about how he learns how to uh, reach out to people to help him and get some strategies forward and then also how we can then turn around and help other people. Why a graphic novel? I've written five of those before so I'm familiar with the format. I know that uh, teens and youth love those books. Also with this subject we wanted something that was going to be engaging and not so clinical. It's something that would actually enjoy reading. And lastly because it's dealing with a lot of difficult feelings and thoughts that are hard to sometimes put into words, the visuals really help, I think, bridge the gap and sort of help explore some of those feelings that, you know, you can't really put into words. Pretty early on, we partnered with an organization called Mind Your Mind that deals a lot with youth mental health and putting out resources for them. So they provided those resources, which was great. And they touch on topics that are explored through the book. So how do you deal with panic attacks? And so some mindfulness and breathing strategies. Um, one of the characters dealing with a lot of high expectations uh, and how to deal with those sort of high expectations. You know, often people are called on to help their friends and loved ones. And that can be overwhelming as well. You want to help them, but then you need help. And so helping setting boundaries uh, for yourself and then also having people you can reach out to and then also other information about uh, where to get resources and information. Uh, maybe like a sigh of relief, you know, in a way that they're feeling that they've been seen, I guess, that they're, what they're going through is, is normal. It's what it's known, they're not alone. Um, and as well that there's, uh, there's way f a way forward for them with some actual actionable things that they can do, uh, that it's not the end, right? That there's some room for optimism and hope.